Welcome to Pixel Composer 1.16.6 is version coming with the new comma line interface. We have number of new nodes. So let's get through it. So the major feature in this update is the comma line interface, which can be accessed in a separate exe. If you go to the program directories, you will see that there's new exe.exe file that you can access using a terminal, which allows you to interact with Pixel Composer without having to open the project and deal with the graphical user interface. Now, I will put a detail on how to use it in a different video, but if you already know how to run an exe file using command lines and how to give it different argument, you can just check the full feature list to see the argument that you can use. And next, let's take a look at the new node introduced in this version. First one is the new Kuahara filter. So this is like a watercolor type kind of filter which can be useful if you want to create a watercolor effect. We have the new quasi crystal node which generate this aperiodic patterns or the pattern that doesn't repeat itself which is just a combination of a sine wave at different angles. We have a new profile node which will generate colors inside or outside of the part. So if you have a part that looks like this you can just send it to the profile node and let it fill all the pixel on the left or on the right or you can also enable the mirror mode. Just a very easy way to create a shape that you want using part. We have the shape map node. And this will distort your image using a different shapes. I think the most commonly used one would gonna be the polygon or the square shapes. So when you have an image that looks like this, you can just set it to the shape map. Set the shape to polygon with four sides. And just gonna map your image around a square. And there is a CMD argument node. So this node will allow you to add custom argument to your command line interface. For example, you can have this CMD node with a custom tag called image. Right now, you can just set the image using your command line by using dash image. It's the same thing as a global variable, but now you don't have to define a global variable. You can just define it directly in the graph. And then we have an improvement to the already existed node. So the first one is a gradient. It's now receiving two extra blending modes. We have the OK Lab and sRGB. So OK Lab is a different color space that try to replicate how our eyes see colors. So the interpolation can look a little bit more pleasing maybe. The image node or image input node now support part airway to be used with the command line interface. And the mixed color node also have a support for the OK Lab color space. The displacement now have an option for you to separate two axes for the vector and angle to use two different surfaces instead of just using one image with you know the red channel and the green channel in the same image. You can now just use separate image altogether. There's also a new gradient mode which will instead using the gradient of the current pixel to distort the image. The region field have an extra option in the draw original. You can now set it to draw on top or in the bottom of the field image. The region field also add the new texture map mode where it will map the entire texture to each of the region and the shape node have new built-in level properties and the scatter node in the circular mode you can now set the scale over radius so that the larger the radius the bigger or the smaller the image gonna be and there's angle range so you can make it repeat not in a complete circle but maybe hemicircle or smaller arc the add node interface also got some small update which will now show the sub action alias for example when you're searching for blend node you can also type in the blend type directly like multiply and it will just show the blend mode and when you click on it, it will also set the blend mode to multiply automatically. But by default, it will not show the word multiply. It's just going to show the blend node. In this new version, it will now show the blend node and then multiply. So that you can see that you are now setting the multiply from the blend node. And there's also multiple nodes that have this sub alias as well. And there are a quite small number of bug fixes in this version. Uh, most of the time, uh, being put into developing the command line interface. So if you found a bug, you can also report to me on the official Discord server or HIO. And that will be all for today's video. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.